Hey, it's Tiffany. Excuse me. And this is my TTC vlog three. Um, what has happened since my last video? I actually had miscarriage. Um, unfortunate, but you know, things happen. Uh, let's see. So. My last cycle, I was having pregnancy symptoms, so like my breasts were swollen. Like it would, I wear a D cup, and I was having spillage. Like they were so big and heavy, and they hurt. I was having nausea, nausea. Um, I was tired. I was. I always felt like I was gonna throw up. I was peeing a lot, and um. I was having really bad back pain, so I decided to, you know, because we have medics in my squadron, and I went there, we have three of them, and all three of them um, thought I was pregnant, because one, they couldn't explain why else my breasts were hurting, other than the fact that I might be pregnant. I need to say, we took a pregnancy test and it was negative, but they were sure that I probably just tested too soon, and I might have got pregnant at the end of my ovulation cycle, and... So I kind of was just like, okay, I'm going to take it easy, you know, just in case. Because my breasts were hurting. It was like two weeks. And at first it was like, maybe it's because your period's about to come. I was like, my period's not due for another two weeks. So, yes, I continue to be in all this pain for another two weeks for my period to come. But it came early, and it was heavier than usual. So because it was abnormal, they thought it was like a um, miscarriage. So they put me on quarters and I went home and I slept. They gave me some meds to take, like for the pain and stuff. And that's pretty much it. And like, no lie, two days after, like I was back to normal. My boobs wasn't swollen. I wasn't having any pain or sickness or anything. Like my back stopped hurting. Oh, and I was having like headaches every day. Excuse my appearance. I just went for a run. Early morning run. And I gotta get ready for work. But I figure I'd do this real quick. Before I forget and I don't do it. Because I know it's been a minute since. I updated you guys. Um, what else? Uh, that's pretty much it. On that cycle. Um, like I went through a whole bunch of mess. Like I had to be the NIF. Because I'm on flying status. I couldn't, like, I can't control live aircraft and stuff like that, so, and it sucks because, um, I hold two positions, so I'm a controller and I'm a tech, and I couldn't do live missions for either position because I was in it because of this situation at hand, and, but anyways, I'm back on status or whatever, but it was only like a week I was in it because I was, you know, um, let's see, and it's weird because everybody know how I am at work, I'm always like, lively and loud and it just it's crazy how when you're not feeling well everybody can tell because everybody was like are you okay and like giving me hugs and trying to console me and trying to figure out what's wrong with me and I would just tell them like it's private like please stop asking me like all my like my leadership everybody was wondering and then it got to the point where people were because I have a few people at work that I'm close to and well not even a few maybe to and people were going to them like what's wrong with her and everybody's like I don't even know so <laughs> I wasn't telling anybody the only people that know knew were the medics and they have a code where they can't tell your business your personal business <laughs> excuse me unless it's F-O-U-O -O, i.e. like if if I were pregnant then they would have to tell like my commander cause that's something he has to know or whatever I don't know it's, it's like it depends on what the situation is as far as what they can tell your commander and stuff like that like leadership but either way um there's two females and one male medic and one of them one of the females told me well actually the male and, and one of the females told me to try again so I am I start ovulating today 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 is my ovulation day so hubby and I 
baby danced on Sunday because I wanted to get his boys in there early as possible. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, we did the do on Sunday, and I know you're supposed to do it every other day, so, but <laughs> that's TMI, I kind of think that is, but whatever. Um, today is my cycle day, my, not my, I think today is my, Cycle day 11. Yeah. Yeah. But I heard that you don't start ovulating until cycle day 14. I think it's because my periods are longer than average or something like that. I don't know. Whatever. But I have this tracker that says that my ovulation is supposed to start today. But if it doesn't start today, we're going to keep doing it for like every other day for the next five days. So. But we'll see. And I'm supposed to. I didn't tell you I got orders to Korea. I'm supposed to go to Korea. Did I tell you that? I don't know. But I have orders to Korea to leave my family for another year. So let's see. 2010, 2011, six months. 2011 to 2012, seven months. 2012 to 2013, 12 months. Like, seriously, like, every year, like, I'm not at home longer than a year with my family. And it drives me, it drives me crazy. So, what I'm thinking about doing is taking them with me, but that'll become a three-year tour for me, or two and a half years for me, two years for them. Um, so, like need to say, I'll be over there six months before them. Probably. It can take up to six months for them to get over there. But I'm going to try to get all their medical stuff knocked out before I leave. I'm supposed to leave in November. If I am pregnant when I leave, then... Because it's not guaranteed that I'll get my... Like, I can cancel my orders if I if I am pregnant. But my husband, he kind of is... I kind of, like, persuaded him to go to Korea with me. And now he wants to go. Because at first he was like, no, I'm not going. So now that like, we're thinking about having another baby. And we don't want to be apart. And it'll be easier if he just went. Opposed to me canceling my orders. It'll be easier on my career. So... Or my career in the Air Force. So... Like, we're deciding to, like, for them to come with me. Um, but, yeah, it's a whole lot of crap I got to take care of before I go. And um, it'll kind of suck if I am pregnant and it takes him six months to get there because I'll be there by myself. Well, not by myself. I got a lot of friends out there or military friends um, that'll be there for me and take care of me and things like that. But six months by myself, like, I did two months by myself when I left Korea the first time. I was in Korea with my husband for six months, and I had to come to Idaho. I was here for two months before he can leave Korea by myself, and that was hard. So I can only imagine what the first six months going to be like without him, if that were to happen. Um, hopefully they get over there sooner, but you know the military. But either way, I will come back and let you guys know if I get a positive or whatever happens. Um, happens. Um, God has a will and a way, and if it's if he's not ready for us to make that next step then you know it won't happen but i would definitely let you guys know i'm sorry i've been away for a while but i've been busy if you only knew the life i lead <laughs> but um i will talk to you guys later so this is